Hello on Facebook. Hello, hello. Again. Hello, everyone. Hi, Gaze, Gazel Herrera from Miami. How are you? Says request. Oh, says, no, I'm going to go back in. I didn't see I'm request request one more there. time. Request. Hi, everyone okay. coming on. We're you excited. get it? Is that thread and veg or is that what you're sending? Thread and veg? Are you sending it from thread and veg? Oh, am I on as that? Shoot. Hold on. <laughs> I don't want that. <laughs> Hi, Daniela. Hi, okay. Fatima. Hold on. Good job, Anisa. Hello, Maria. No, oh, we were on as thread and veg. Hello. Hello. There, we there we go. So you guys, while they're getting on, I want to let you know phone? that I downloaded. <laughs> Look, if you have if you have trouble hearing me on Instagram, because it keeps pausing, if you have trouble hearing me on Instagram, please go on Facebook because the Facebook feed is going really, really amazing. <laughs> so again, we always have this problem with Insta somehow. I think the energy that we all create is kind of mm -hmm. crazy good. So um I swear, you know, when Anthony goes live on Insta, I really think Spirit holds the energy clean for him so that he, it never pauses the connection. It never never gets stuck when he's on, which is with like 1,500, 2,000 people, that's like a miracle. Um, Daniela, is the video frozen? It shouldn't be. It shouldn't be frozen. Sandra Alves from Australia. Hi, girl. Hi, Sherry Klep Klepzig. It's good to see you. Julie, hi, Maria, hi, all these people saying hello. Megan, yes, Insta can't handle the truth, that's true. So, <laughs> um, hi, beautiful, hi, Ali. Um, hello, hello, hi, Catherine. You guys, if it's not working on Insta, catch us on Facebook. It's going really good on Facebook. If you, um, oh, homegrown, there you guys are. Go live with homegrown, all right. Okay, 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 so I have printed out all of the questions from wow. oh, wait, 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 wait. okay can you guys hear me mm -hmm. now we got it all right can you say something on insta i can't hear you guys okay can you hear me oh, hello, hello. i can't hear you on insta yeah can you, the people? can you hear jimmy and lexi <laughs> you can hear them i can't hear them <laughs> no, Gallery, can you hear them Instagram. Yeah, Insta, Insta, okay. it, it's a, doing a lot better on Facebook. It's why I go live in both places. If you can't hear them, can you jump onto Facebook, you guys? Facebook is doing so much better. All right, we already have a lot of people. Everyone's giving me thumbs up. Linda Vale, hey. Lindsay Mahalik, Sandy Nolan. Yes, Instagram is Facebook so much better than Instagram. Carol, hi. Farish, say hi. Lucy, hey. Okay, so Insta is, yeah, they can't hear you guys on Insta. Oh, weird, can't hear. No sound. We're, uh, we're going to try it on our phone, on my phone, because we're okay. on Jimmy's phone. It's muffled. I'm sorry, you guys. All right. How is it now? Is it better? Can you guys hear me okay? Everybody on, on Facebook, give me a thumbs up if you can hear me, and it's clear, and you can hear me, and you can hear Lexi and Jimmy. <laughs> I know. Go to go to Facebook, you guys, on Insta. I'm sorry, it's just not working. I don't know why. It's really bizarre. One, one bizarro. More. Let's try it one more time. Yeah, go go to Facebook. So much for you guys can hear them. In, Facebook's working perfect. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, there you are. How can you hear? How can you hear? Yeah, I think we can hear you now on on um All right. perfect. I like okay. it. All right. Okay, so we are living. All right, let's get into it. Uh, oh. Sandy and Sandy saying Lexi and Jimmy are very muffled. Is it it is on Facebook, really? Uh you guys sound like you're talking into a tin can they're saying. Um can you come a little mm -hmm. closer? On Does Facebook? That sound any better? On Facebook. Is that better? Is that better? Yeah, that's nice now. You guys Does it sound like that now? <laughs> oh yeah, we're getting like we're getting thumbs up. I think 
Okay. It, homegrown, homegrown healer sounds weird. It says still muffled. Wait. All right, you guys. Homegrown. Keep talking. Okay. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> say hi say hi everybody. hello everybody yeah they're saying sounding much better it's okay, sounding better okay, okay. Oh my gosh. you know you you can't do a test check on lives until you go live I'm exactly sorry. Right, well, right. I'm sorry we guys have to do this in front of you like this but I really I would prefer to get it done earlier it just doesn't happen it doesn't right. worry. I'm gonna I'm gonna eat on top of it let me know if you can hear me chewing uh, <laughs> and we'll turn down the volume all right <laughs> All right, all right, everybody. I gotta get more calories in. Anthony told me today I better get more calories in. <laughs> you gotta get more calories in. All I did right. Some power lifting this morning. I gotta get the calories up. <laughs> and you've been rebounding. You guys like rebound for I don't know how long every day, both of you, right? Yeah, we, we do. We just rebounded before the live, twenty minutes each. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. We tag, we tag team the kitchen, like we tap out. She taps out of the kitchen and goes rebound, and then I tap out mm -hmm. and I go rebound. Yeah. You know what? Sometimes you're feeling like a little funky and you go rebound and it just makes you feel mentally even so much better. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's, yeah. Um, it it's, releases it's like the best, it's like the best thing there is for boosting your, your mood and your endorphins. And as long as you're not crazy adrenalized, you'll be okay. Right. Right. Well, we had a nice adrenaline dump today. We were headed out to the uh, organic garden to pick up our seedlings and nice. they didn't give any notification and it went from four lanes to two. And the entire Muniz of the entire highway slammed on its brakes at once. Oh my god. We both got an adrenaline dump. We Maxine like, and I look at each other, she goes, Adrenal snack. <laughs> that's so funny. Well, yeah, no, that's crazy. Those. They really they work. Yeah, no, adrenal snacks are amazing. All right, they're saying saying that you guys are when you move away from the phone or the computer, you get a little muffled. Okay, so, so we'll stay close. Don't drip food on the computer. That's all. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, yeah, Lex has been saving bumblebee lives. Isn't she amazing? I know. And watching that little bumblebee like suck on some of the honey or She's some of the juice. It was like amazing. That so was amazing. miraculous. That was yeah. so amazing. Um, and you know, Lexi was saying before any of this, like before we learned everything we've learned from. Anthony and from you, we probably would have just, you know, she would have scooped the, the bee up because we have like a bug catcher, like, which is just a cup and a piece of cardboard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We probably yeah. just scooped them up and put them out on the lawn and left them because we wouldn't have known what to do. Right. Um, but she posted the story and um, the sunshine inside was like, give him sugar. And she's like, I gave him like honey water, but I guess that wasn't enough. So let me give him something with more glucose. And she gave him the date and she said he reached out with both hands. And like pulled the date closer yeah. to him and was like putting his little snout in it and just like sucking up the glucose and, and just loving it. It was so wow, amazing. That's and so it just cool. shows you and confirms everything Anthony's talked about with the glucose. And glucose really, it is a part of our circle of life. It's so true. I got contacted during Anthony's live today. Um, somebody asked about ketogenic diets and I posted, I, you know, cause I was sitting there responding to so many people's questions because Casey comes on and Catherine comes on and they can't do them all. So we all like whatever question we see, we try to like tag team and try to like answer the questions. Mm -hmm. So there was a question for about ketogenic, ketogenic diets and how, you know, they're really important. And I said, mm -hmm. well, yeah, I know it's a problem to, it's too much high fat and very low glucose. And the guy who was I was responding to, he writes back and he says, oh, that's really debatable. And I'm like, I'm not here to debate you. <laughs> I'm just letting <laughs> you know Anthony's information. And then he PMs me. He was a really sweet guy, actually. I, I know it, it sounded like it might get a little confrontational, but it didn't. And, um, you know, he basically said, well, ketogenic guys can work. Have you read so-and-so doctor's work on this stuff? And I just said to him, I'm like, look, I did keto for a while and I didn't feel good on it. And. Um, you know, I've seen people go to the brink of death with keto diets and I said people can do keto diets for a while and then they just um, cannot handle them. Your body uh, reaches you, its limit. Eventually you just get start, you get better at first a little bit, but then you start getting sicker and sicker. Right. And, and so, um, you know, so it's really, um, yeah, it's like a really crazy, um, yeah. But he, you know, I said to him, look, I'm not going to debate you. Like, don't ping me back and forth. I'm not going to debate you. I'll talk to you 
only if you're willing to hear new information and you're open to it. And he's like, I am willing to hear new information. And he said, well, glucose is really bad. It's really bad for diabetics. And I said, actually, glucose, the right kind, will heal someone. Um, you know, it, you can heal someone. Um, and I, I gave him Robbie's information. I told him to look up Mindful Diabetic. And I told him to look up Mastering Diabetes. And I said, it's not just for type 2. It's even for type 1 that you can heal type 1, which is not even understood. And I said to him, I said, you know, you just have to, you know, understand that this whole idea that ketones is what we live on is not true. I mean, mm -hmm. if you live on ketones. I don't know if you guys know what ketones are, but that's what ketogenic diets come from. That's where yeah. the name comes from. So ketones are like these protein breakdowns from our body that, you know, when you don't give it any glucose, the body's going to look for something to get energy from and they right. start to break down protein and start to try to get energy from there. And it's really you know, it's really this um, not obviously not going to work. I, I mean, every single mother that I have ever coached or has come to me for support who is breastfeeding. And, you know, a lot of new mothers will go on paleo diets because they try to lose their pregnancy weight really quickly. But what happens is that this, mm. they start to not make milk. And so I get all these panicked calls from mothers whose milk is not coming through. And every time I ask them what they're eating, they're eating a lot of fat, eggs, dairy, mm -hmm. you know, meat. And yeah. they're eating very little, veg they're eating veggies, they're eating salads, but they're eating no fruit. So yeah. I'm like, okay. Well, that's what Anthony milk. said is breast milk is sugar. Sugar. So I have, I have taken women off of their keto, paleo type diets and reduced the amount of animal protein they're having and animal fat they're having, have them increase their fruit intake. And like, it's not just like, it doesn't take like three weeks. It takes like one day. Right. And the next day when they start to, you know, when they have like, three servings of fruit or four servings of fruit or even six servings of fruit. They're like, oh, my milk came in. Like my, <laughs> my milk came in. I'm like, it's like magic because you need <laughs> glucose. So, you know, I mean, like it's, it's really, it's really a big thing, you know, um, Jackie, you made it. Hey girl. Um, uh, so, by the fire. <laughs> yeah. So four years on paleo killed us says Beth Buck. Julie says, ketogenic diet screwed me up, made half of my hair fall out. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, so you know what? It's just um, it's just this uh, idea, right, that we don't need the glucose, that the glucose is going to hurt us. It's so prevalent, as is the idea. Remember I posted on that thing? I'm like, protein, needing proteins like a religion. It's like people yeah. get so hung up on the protein thing. Do they get mental? They get totally they mental. Get mental. They, yeah, they get totally. I have had conversations with people. You would think that I like spit on their okay. religious idol. Right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like you insulted them. This was yeah. offensive. This was like, like the biggest you, offensive you thing mental? you could say. Absolutely. You mental patient? Well, it was really funny when Anthony today was like, and I'm probably going to, you know, you, you'll get off of here and you'll be like, oh, Anthony gave me all of this really great information. And then, and then you'll be like, but I need more protein. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and you know, another comment on Insta is Kobe Gunn Bertig said, um, four years on keto got sicker and sicker. Yeah, I mean, every person that has come to me on keto has been just really sick and only started to feel better when they started to eat glucose. I'm, and I had a friend who's actually yeah. been doing a lot of keto and her, her circle does more keto, but even plant-based keto. Do you know there's a thing as plant-based keto? Where they no. just eat vegetables and like avocados, nuts, and seeds, and they don't eat a lot of fruit, right? Oh so it's a plant-based keto, but it's still keto. So um, this group is like a plant-based keto group, and I mean they don't officialize it. It's just what they do, and I know them. And so you know, they're they. She put out a post, one of the the women, and she was like, mm -hmm. "Who here on her Facebook post? Who here has benefited on a ketogenic diet?" And there must have been a hundred comments out of which I, I counted them. There were like 87 comments of people saying that paleo and keto made them sicker. So wow. I mean, it's just out there. You just have to ask around. I think the people who can handle it don't have adrenal fatigue and they don't have too many viral loads. That's it. I mean, if you, if you have those, which most of us do can't handle that. It's really, yeah. Your adrenals really, fire up. Yeah. Your adrenals completely get fried or if they're not fried in the beginning, they will. Because you're not giving any glucose. You right. fry out your adrenals. So you guys, cool, I know brother. that it's so always great to chat with you. I feel like I'm sitting in my living room with you two right next to me. And, <laughs> and it's like we kick back and it's like, oh, let's chit chat. And 
you know, just ha our, our conversation just between the two of us is, is entertaining for other people, which is really funny. Um, That's amazing. <laughs> right. And I just want to, I just want to say, you know, you guys have been for me to watch you guys has been such an inspiration. Mm -hmm. And, um, it is, mm -hmm. you know, you think that I, people say to me that I inspire them, but honestly, you guys inspire me. It's just, Aww. well, it goes true. both ways. <laughs> it's true. You know, it's true. That means so much to us, Muniza, because when we were in that auditorium at Anthony's Live and, I, you know, Alexis was hanging on by a thread, man. She was. And, and so was I. You know, I'm going to I'm going to do some stories coming up on the trials and tribulations of a partner of someone who is chronically ill and you know how it it took the wind out of my sails man i was i felt as bad as she did and i didn't have all the things that she had i mean i probably have most of the pathogens i think my immune system may just be stronger and i didn't take certain antibiotics but uh you know it knocked the life out of me so the both of us dragged our asses there half dead and when we saw you, this girl just lit up. And we, when we saw Anthony, it just, it really changed our lives. You know, the, the light blast and the, and just hearing your voice and the way you spoke and, and your knowledge of how to heal the truth that we heard there um, just inspired us. We never imagined that we would be in this circle with you and sharing yeah. these lives and inspiring you in turn. I mean, that's just such a blessing to us to be able to return that favor to you. Oh my gosh. Thank you for saying right. that. I just, yeah. you know, I mean, I really just, you guys have shown, I think not just me, but so many people watching that this can be done and together we're stronger. So I'm pretty yeah. sure you inspire well, tons of couples. Um, Jimmy, I know you're inspiring tons of men, um, you know, when you talk because you're so straight up, like there's no BS and you know, it's not like you're okay. I'm just, I don't mean this offensively. I know you're not going to take it that way, but I'm just going to say it like, you're not some, you're not like a guy point. who's sitting there, you know, in a, in Lotus position in yoga and, you know, um, you know, you're a construction worker, like mm -hmm. you're uh -huh. as, you're as a dude as it comes, right? So, <laughs> so, I call him a manimal. A manimal? <laughs> he is a manimal. Be, one, to survive in construction. Yeah. In construction in New York. Oh, my God. Yeah. Be, um, but cannot, he's a manimal. But like you said, like he's got this whole other side to him, like that he's so sensitive and so supportive but he still knows when to be a man but he knows yeah. when he needs to be i have a real soft side and i have a soft heart but i'll break but but you know that's the beauty of it though you know it goes both ways for men and women right you need to have women to have wow. that tough side as well as their soft right. side. and for men who typically have a tough you know it's um uh kind of they're famous for being tough like they're known for being like macho and tough and but you have a balance of that and i really think that your diet right plays so much into fostering oh, both geez. of those sides. It so was so hard. key. Yeah. It's it just we've gained so much clarity and so much energy and so much positive vibration. Um and and the two of us though, we're a really great yin and yang because she's learning a lot of um uh techniques to protect her energy and be stronger mm -hmm. from me. And I'm mm -hmm. learning how to soften a little because you know, my, the danger in being too strong and too, um, you know, like almost when you live in New York, you, you have this wall up because oh, you yeah. don't want to get burned, right? I know. I people out there looking to burn you. Yeah, the danger in that is you can hurt people that weren't trying to hurt you. Right. So you I, have to be I've very careful. That. And I'm learning that from I, her. I'm learning how to soften. I've learned, yeah, I've learned, I've taught him how to be, because he has a very strong energy. Right. Is a right. very so when he's mad, when he's angry, oh, forget it. like forget everybody that. around him feels it. Right. And it cannot he can either uplift you. Like, I mean, this isn't the case of anybody, but because this is so strong, I'm like, look, if you can either really make somebody feel really, really good, or you could bring them down and make them feel really, you know, right. uh, you know. So you have to be cautious with that kind of power. Yeah. Totally. And then 
But Alexis, I was proud of her this week. She had a guy come in, a sales rep into the store and right, was it a sales rep? Was, and he was like trying to bully you and No, he he can't and bully. like Oh, oh that one. Yeah, yeah. Oh. I was thinking of, of the other Well, guy. he's just taught me how to like stand up for myself and you know, when I first got really, really sick with the whole Lyme thing, yeah, and my anxiety my like anxiety that. was so severe that like just having a conversation with you here, I wouldn't have been able to do. I know. I know. So it was great because it was really a, a, a milestone this week because she was faced with a lot of stress. Right. She had hey, um, Megan, Melly B. Hi, you guys. I'm just saying hi. I'm listening. Yeah, yeah no worries. Good. Uh, she had, you know, some issues come up that, that would have typically fired her adrenals. Well, and she yeah. handled them. And she. And I didn't feel, I didn't feel taxed. She put That's some amazing. Yeah. And that's yeah. amazing. That's so good to hear. So you guys, you know, I, first of all, I'm so grateful that you guys trusted me enough to do my programs. Right. And yeah. I Your want to work. Well, yeah. tell people how, because you guys have never had a consult. With because me, right? so we've, no, we've never had a, had a private with, session. We've no. never dealt with a practitioner. And I think part of that was all the doctors we saw and all the misinformation that we heard and even the naturopath, as wonderful as she was, and and she was instrumental in getting Alexis an official diagnosis, because right. it just helps to have that name. You know what I mean? Like Anthony yeah. says that too. You have a name on it, so yeah. it helps. And they're really good at naming shit. Yeah, so, they're really good at that. <laughs> yeah. Now we have this name that that nobody knows what the fuck it means, but we have a name. Okay. So she was great, but she also prescribed her you know, vitamin C with alcohol in it and like these other additives. And it, and yeah. if we didn't have you and Anthony, we would have probably taken those things and we would have been wondering why she's having these setbacks and not getting better. Right. And so so now we're, we had all this information and I really, my hat is off to my beautiful wife because she's one of the strongest <laughs> human beings on this planet because yeah, she was sure. literally on the verge of ending her own life. She was so sick and so dead just tired and fatigued and having all these horrifying symptoms. And she took that book and she just didn't get really overwhelmed by it. She just did. She just tried anything. Let's just try it. We'll start. And, yeah. but then when we met you. Okay. Um, yeah. When we, when we start, when we met you though, you just like, filtered it and you organized it and you and you made it just palatable like small bites that we could take instead of all this overwhelming information and plus the answering of individual questions and your right? cleanses so first of all i want to say that we you know we followed you on instagram and i saw that you posted about this first cleanse that you were having we actually didn't do your first one it was in the spring of yeah, you know, sure. yeah. so we didn't do that first one so i missed it and then you posted about another one. I'm like, we have to do this one. I want to do it. I said, something is telling me just, it, it was grabbing me and grabbing my attention. And I said, let's sign up for it. So we did. And your cleanse, the first cleanse, especially, it's like it took all of Anthony's books and all of his information and it took it to the next level. It, uh, it, it built upon that. So what it, did you get? Can you tell people what you got from, I know so many people, everyone has access to the books, the blogs, the radio shows, right? They're all available for not a lot of money and very easily accessible. <clears throat> so what did you get from the cleanse that you didn't get from everything else? So the first cleanse, I well, I got, I got immediate one-on-one, um, -on -one, I wouldn't say one-on-one, -on -one, but you know, with with all the admins and you answering questions, yeah. I got like instant access to questions that I had uh, about my own symptoms right. or health or right. about detoxing and about the cleanse. So that was what I got. I got support in going through the experience of detoxing and cleansing. And if I was having a strange symptom or if something new popped up, I could ask about that and I, and I got support and I also got tips on what I could do to maybe alleviate those symptoms. Well, you did actually, right? Your the specific one is you had that sore come in. No, my whole right side of my tongue blew up 
during the middle of the cleanse. Right. 100 yeah. percent raw. And my whole tongue blew up Which and it horrifying. got sore like, for like a whole week. And yeah, I mean, I remember so messaged, messaged I messaged you guys. I might have even sent a picture. Sent a picture. picture. And you everybody picture, I remember that. <laughs> yes. And everybody responded, giving me support, giving me tips and advice. And Telling you what it was. Like, it, it made me feel just protected. It made me feel much more supported and much more, you know, had I gone through that myself, it was my first time. It was all new yeah. to me. How am I going to know that? And I feel right. like especially if she didn't have me, the cleanse would have been, you know, even more important. Right. If you don't have that kind of support at home, and we hear from a lot of people and it's unfortunate. And I think, I think the men just, they panic, you know, they don't know what to deal with it. Um, yeah. I had a friend that, that his, his dad left as soon as he found out his mother had MS. My father happened to stay. My mother had MS too, for those of you that don't know. My father stayed with her for 30 years. Stayed with her through breast cancer, radiation, double mastectomy, chemo, all that. So I had a fantastic example. My hat is off to him. I owe that all to him. Um, and, and God put us in that place because I would do anything to get her better, to not watch someone That's deteriorate why over the next for 40 your years. <laughs> and you know what, though? It was worth every penny. The cleanses are pound for pound. What you're getting, the bang for your buck in those cleanses is unreal. It's unreal. That, it's we got unreal. support. Come closer, you guys. It's getting muffled again. Oh, sorry. Okay. So we got support. We got communication. Um, we got answers to questions that, you know, were up in the air for us. The recipes. We got insane. recipes. Oh recipes God, so good. to, you know, either. Those Pakistani pancakes. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Dude, we had another pancake in like a fucking year. And you came out with those. I was like, oh, my God, these are so good. They're so good. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Well, you know, I love oh, the recipes. The, uh, we lost audio. the audio. Yeah. Can you hear us? You yeah, lost the audio? Oh, I can, no, we, got it. we got it now. Okay, okay. So, um, yeah, it's just, um, yeah. So getting that support is essential. Being in a community. You guys made friends with other people, right? So, yeah, well, that was the yeah, one, you gained, that was um, more so the in the mastery. Just, right. just right. on. In the mastery when you, um, and that was all because of the sister circle that you. Nicole, this cleanses 117. Put together. And it's, yeah, unlimited access. The sister circle. Oh, and, and talk about, you know, divine timing and divine, you know, intervention. intervention. I mean, the the girl that I really connected with most in the cleanse, I mean, we are like soul sisters. Right. And we're still and texting. She, she directed us to um, the, uh, something that we didn't know about, which was reclaiming teas. If any of you don't know about them, you need to go there and you need to order this girl's tea. Shauna is an amazing. Can't, can't hear you, Jimmy. So oh, sorry. Um, her it. partner, Jess, introduced us to Reclaim Teas, who makes. Shauna makes um, the medical medium brews for anti-solvent, anti-radiation, anti-pesticide teas, and they're just so fantastic. Um, you can be all raw and do the cleanse. Yeah. What's that great about your, her cleanses too is you can. She gives you raw recipes and she gives you some, you know, lighter cooked recipes, and you have the option to incorporate either. Yeah, that's what you said, right? Meaning is that you're gonna you're gonna do like different levels, like if you're fully raw. Yeah, or you have all different raw. levels. So if you're fully raw, oh, you can do that. Yeah. If yeah. you yeah. are, why am I yeah. reverberating? I can hear you. I can hear you on raw. your on your computer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so oh. basically, if you're fully raw, you can do it. Uh, you can stay fully raw. You can go fat free being fully raw. You can go even lighter. You could go more juicing. You, I teach you how to go from yes. each level, the understanding that, you know, some, some, someone just bought the cleanse the other day and they're like, oh my God, I read your materials and now I understand why I couldn't juice for yes. a start. Right. And, and I'm like, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> it makes sense when you understand, right? And uh, uh, so- you, you, know, you taught us how to juice cleanse. 
Right. Our first juice cleanse was with you. Wow. And let me tell you, I was terrified I, before. I, I was, ter- I had it, you know, mentally, I was prepping myself for something that was going to be a lot worse. Worse, yeah. And the only reason I was able to do it was because it was with a community. Right. Of, of other people who were doing it together. Right. Right. And after I did it, I'm like, took a lot of the that wasn't so and bad. That, <laughs> that was that was what I noticed about all of the comments that they had in common. You know, that um, that actually inspired me to put that little collage together for you, because all of those comments were just so amazing. And everyone, the common thread was I felt just comfortable. I felt supported. Right. Right. I feel not alone in this. Yeah. Right. And that's why I said to you, like, if she didn't have me, the cleanse is like hands down. You yeah. have to do it. You have to, have to, have to. Yeah. I think you have to no matter what. I think that should be required. I think. And then in the master cleanse, you, you taught me things that we didn't learn in the first cleanse. You, you know, we added to it because it was a longer length of time. Yeah, it was and- a deeper program. It was three months, like not two weeks. And it was it was really like diving deeper, and we're gonna do that again this yes. year. Yes, and the, coming emo- up. the emotional healing tools were amazing. And I remember doing the journal writing, and I had never done that before. And there was one night I just sat there and I wrote, and I bawled. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I didn't even know this was in me. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it's all, back, it starts May 14th. It's coming up next week. Not next week, but the Monday after next. Yeah. And, you know, so we'll be doing the cleanse as well again. And, you know, we didn't, um, like, we didn't do everything so rigidly. Like, right. No. And you're not required to, where, right? You're not required to. Yeah. No. There were days where we didn't do the, the uh, full menu, but we still have it. Like, we printed out. You saw the... Um, the, the binders, binders you guys printed, yes. So, yeah, we took all the stuff you were able to – I mean, the way you did it is so amazing. You put it – we were able to put it all on a thumb drive and take it to Staples and print it all out and right. put it in a binder. And now we have that forever. We can right. reference that. We can go get recipes. Um, and it's actually, amazing. we can still go back and access all the Facebook threads with all the questions and all the answers – so you Which have is that another for tremendous resource. to go back. Yeah. yeah, you have it for life. You know what we did in this one? You guys are going to love it. Um, we took the FAQs from the last three programs, the three classes. And you're making a PDF. We, we made a PDF. And all the daily Q&A for each post is going to be PDF'd and made available the next day. That's- so that you can search it and keep it. And you don't have to rely. Because people are like, well, I'm not in a Facebook group. I'm like, you don't have to be. If this way, yeah. you don't have to be Amazing. at all. Amazing. Amazing. Yeah, that's going to be cool. I'm excited about that. Gardening that's- class, it would be amazing to have you in the program. It really yeah. would. Um, you know, and mastery is going to happen later this year. It's going to happen in the fall. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, it was, it was um, last year, we started at November 9th. It's probably going to start a little earlier, but I can't predict because, you know, stuff happens when we're in life and process. So, but it's around that time frame. But you guys, it just, you know, it, I'll tell you something from my perspective. I taught mastery for the first time. I didn't know what people were going to get from it, right? I had no, right. I had never done it before. I didn't know what it was about. And even the cleanses, you know, each time we ran the next one, I'm like, how can I meet last time's experience? How can we make it better? But I never know if someone's actually going to tell me it was better until we do it, right? Right. So, we have had experience of doing four launches last year, and this is our fifth launch this year. And we're really, and the fourth time we're running the cleanse. So, it, you know, we've taken the experience of all of that stuff. And this time I have a better sense. I'm like, you know what? I think we can, it's going to be a little better for people to be able to navigate because the Facebook navigation is definitely an issue. Being able to search in Facebook is definitely an issue. People can't go find old comments. Mm. And the admins were answering repeated questions, you know, the same question probably like 10 times during the right. Right. We, we right. couldn't get people to go back and search for it. So right. now we're hoping that because we don't have to answer repeat questions, we can get to questions a little more deeply, you know? Wow, right. that's amazing. So, yeah, and you need that because now the, the um, membership is going to start to ramp up. And yeah. I feel like, 
you doing this is equivalent to Anthony writing his books. Oh, um, really? I think yeah, that's because very sweet of you to say, but I don't, I don't agree with that. No. Well, you know, on a smaller scale, you, obviously, you know, you're able to help so many more people in one broad, in one broad stroke. Yeah. And that's what the books did. Right. Right. It was, right. It was yeah. really healing people one at a time. And like, that's like, you know, digging in sand one grain at a time. You're not going to get anywhere. Yeah, that's so, actually true. So he he wrote these books and now you're doing these cleanses and you can help an entire community of people. And like she said, when she had the thing on her tongue, it wasn't just you that answered. I don't even know if you did answer, but she got like four different people answering her and saying, oh, right. I have that. And this is, you know, it's just this and put this on it and yeah. do a little aloe, switch a little aloe yeah. in your mouth. And, you know, yeah. she got answered by more people and it, it's. Yeah. It's, and, and, you know, I, I don't I want people to know that I'm in there, but I also have this amazing group of admins. You guys have oh, seen yeah. the admins. They're amazing, right? They're amazing. They, they have the medical medium information down pat. Now, I, you know, I can tell you some people sometimes get upset that I didn't answer their question. But I say to them, like, but if you got the right answer, does what it matter if I make? answered right. it? Yeah. What difference does it make? Right. So, you know, they I read every when- do they get upset when Katherine Lawton answers them? Like, what's the difference? <laughs> right, you got the exactly. truth. You got the you truth. Got the truth. Exactly. And if you love, crying about it. If you love seeing and watching Muniza as much as we do, you're going to love the cleanse because she goes and she does the little, um, you know, little question and answers, or she goes and you do these little, like, you know, lessons, um, yeah. and you get to watch more of her. <laughs> Thank you. Well, yeah. It's just- it's just fun. Look, you know, people, I, I love teaching. I've been yeah. teaching for a long time. I used to teach piano for a long time. And I, but I've always been teaching people about everything that I believe in. And I've always wanted to help people feel better. And that's kind of just what my mission is. I, you know, earlier this evening, I wasn't feeling so good. I'm like, I don't know, should I do this live? Should I not? But then I sit here and I switch on and I'm, I'm like, was I not feeling well? I don't even remember. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, because you, you get in that mode. Yeah. And you well, get I, that think, I think that when you're on purpose and you're living your life with your purpose that you're here to do, the energy shows up and the healing comes. It's actually very healing to do the work you came here to do. And yeah. the other mission that I have, and like mastery and all those other elements, is helping people find their mission, you know? Yeah. It, the, why do you want to get better? I mean, people say, oh, yeah, I can get better so I have more energy, so I can do more stuff, or I can hang with my family. But really, you want to get better to serve your divine purpose. Which I was is just like, going to, yeah, yeah. Right? It's the yeah. reason that we come here is for divine purpose. Yeah. Um, it, it is, It is. you know, we it, incarnate into humans with purpose. It's not just a random action that we just kind right. of show up, Right. Mm-hmm. I mean, even Anthony says in all of his comments and posts, he's like, you have a divine purpose. You have a divine soul and a divine purpose, and you come here for this divine reason. And we, many of us who are sick, cannot, you know, fulfill that because we're sick. And so really, really the reason you want to get better is so you can have the energy and spend time with your family and do all of that. And, and, and you can feel, fulfill your purpose. Right. Because I feel like, okay, when I talk to you guys, I'm like, you guys have this huge mission of like (laughs) educating others like mine, but in a different way. Right. Right. And you have, you can hear it in your voice. You can hear it the way you guys light up and it it, hasn't, it become stronger since you started to heal. Yes. We were just talking about that. I said to him, I never could have imagined going through everything we've gone through from getting sick to healing, to, you know, this whole axis of information giving us so much purpose and that purpose plus and every day is jam packed with, we're so busy with, you know, our daily life and our daily routine, but this as well. And it's, it's given us more purpose and it's actually really great feeling. You guys were helping that guy, Paul, right? And saying prayers for him and doing everything you could for him. And today. You saw him today. You got to look at our story. He is so funny. Yeah. We're like we went and we brought him some groceries because uh, he lives in like an apartment complex. So it's hard to carry all the stuff. So we brought him a big cooler full of groceries. Right. And, uh, 
he just he is so he grabbed the medical medium information and he is just running with it. Uh, the one key thing, mm-hmm. like I told you, he was doing so much stuff, right? That was right. right. And he was, I was like, are you eating eggs? And he's like, yeah, like once every other week. I'm like, no, 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 no. And he's like, what do you mean? What's up? That's bad. I'm like, dude, I'm like, what do you No, No, man. And, and he like, every time I see him, he's like, you know, I can't thank you enough for giving me that tidbit because I could have undone yeah. the healing stuff that I was doing. Right. But he just he grabbed it full force. We visited with him. He looks amazing. But he's and he is he's, he's so, so funny. And he's so he's appreciative. So and it feels really good. We're like, to... we're like what is, he's like, the doctor told me to eat, you know, this, that, and the other thing. He's like, I told him, You eat that. I'm not eating that. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. amazing. I mean, yeah. someone's we smuggled asking them, me, we um, smuggled them juices into the oh, hospital. That's so cool, you guys. Yeah. I mean, do you know even family members don't do that for each other? And, I know. Right? I'm right? very grateful. Well, that his son's amazing. in Alabama, and his brother doesn't believe in this stuff. His brother thinks he should be doing chemo and radiation. Oh my and God. when we met, you know, we just clicked, man. We have a really good time together. He actually he called me from the hospital. He's like, I'm in the emergency room. He's like, can, you, can I ask you a huge favor? He's like, can you just bring me some filtered fountain water? Because they're trying to feed me this fucking toilet water, and I can't stand it. And he's like, I'm thirsty. Wow. So I filled up. I brought two of our gallon wow. jugs down to him, and I juiced a couple of juices for him, and I left it with him. And uh, and he was eternally grateful. It was just so beautiful. You know that that's like that's like the best charity ever. Oh yeah. It was, you I know, mean, I, and really. charity doesn't have to be you know giving people money or giving people you know whatever. It's just your it's, time. The, it's the kindness, right? It's the your time it's, and is your more time. valuable than anything. Kindness, t- your time, your your heart. You gave him your heart. Yeah. Right. You gave him your compassion. Be, right, and yeah. it doesn't have to be a ton of time. Like we just stopped by, we visited him for what an, an hour, hour today. Yeah. And it just, you know, we passed that energy on to him and we, we, we boosted him up and he was going to go for a walk around the, around the, um, the complex and just, uh, you know, it's really empowering to see, you know, like hey, now we have the information, we have the information to help. Like before we didn't know shit. We didn't I know what to course. do. I know. I know. It, your, your purpose is really, it's really coming through loud and clear. I think. I think you guys are probably going to do your jobs for as long as you need to. And then you're just going to be like, we're done. <laughs> we're doing something we're different. I, I I've been done for it. a while. Yeah. <laughs> I'm waiting on God. Yeah. <laughs> but you know what? He's even using me there. He has, these guys are eating celery now. All these big macho construction guys are eating celery. And then, Oh my God, day, that's amazing. Every and, day a guy comes up, he's like, why is everybody eating celery? And we're like, you know, I'm like, you want to tell him or you want me to tell him? You know, I tell one of the guys I train, like, here, go tell him. <laughs> it's amazing. That it's such amazing. a ripple effect. Yeah. Oh, it is a ripple effect. And, you know, and what's addictive is feeling good, right? right. Yeah. When right. you start to feel good, there right. it is way more addictive than the idea of being repulsed by celery. Or and, and you'll get that one thing. Like, I remember the first thing that juiced us up was, and she reminded mind yourself, she was half dead at this time. We did, we had been to so many doctors and the stupid sleep study. Did you guys see that post? Go back and look at that thing. They plugged her in. She looked like Darth fucking Vader. And and I don't know what, they didn't even figure shit out. The, the, The doctor that we went in to see gave me a fucking attitude. I was half dead too. I was tempted to, to grab her and walk out of there, but we had no answers at the time. Right. And she finds the book and 30 days into the cleanse, she gets her period and has no symptoms for the first time in 16 years. She has no sore, no soreness, no cramping, no nothing. She looked at me and we both right, were right. like, this is it. Yeah. This is it. We he, found it. Like, yeah, he said this was going to happen. He said this was going to happen. And it happened. Yeah. it's God's truth, right? He's giving Unreal. us God's truth. And I mean, if we can really listen to it, the problem is so many people don't listen to it. And, um, you know, I'm going to say this, but you know how many people are not appreciated in their lifetime? Thank you. Recovering my vitality. Yeah. 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 I feel like he's going to be more appreciated after his lifetime. Right. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. Like by us. (laughs) Not by us. By a small group. I think a lot of people. Yeah. Not by us. People are really gonna really, but if they could appreciate him in this lifetime, they would save themselves yeah. 
on of like you need a there and this is one of the frustrations we've been hearing on Instagram too is people's families that don't understand and they're killing themselves still and you know one of the tools I learned from Joel Osteen actually to handle that is you have to give it to God you have to set the example your best sermon is your life live your life eat clean let them come to you give them little tidbits and I've had to do that with my family I have so many family members one of my cousins has Crohn's one of my cousins has MS my right. other cousin has lupus right um, right my father had cancer um my aunts have fibromyalgia interstitial yeah, cystitis my mother had MS Right. Yeah, my mother had MS. My uncle has um, uh, ulcerative colitis now, and and I I I te I text them these little tidbits. When I see an Anthony post, I'll text them. I'm not right. gonna leave you alone, but right. <laughs> but I'm I'm gonna try. I'm gonna keep trying. You know, I'm gonna yeah. keep trying to get that truth to sink in. I don't know why it's so difficult. It's like, dude, this is a no brainer. I know it's really. You difficult. look at us like we're the example. God gave you us as the example. I know. She's no, healing Lyme disease. Just, but there are times just let it be. Let it be. Yeah. Like if people are going to inquire when they see you eating something or when they see that you're feeling really well and you're doing really well and they know you've gone through what you've been through, people are going to come to you if you don't force it upon them and they're going to say, you know, what was that celery juice you said to do every morning? What does that do for oh, you? You, you know, so, so I tell him like, don't stress it. People are like, I can't wait to hit people in the face. Yeah, that's how I feel. I used to, yeah. I used to, when I used to have those, you know, when I used to be able to talk to Anthony as a client years ago, I, you know, he would say, say something to me. He's like, I want to put someone in the face. I would say, <laughs> Anthony oh, said that? No, no, I would say that. I'd be like, oh, yeah. like put someone like, in the face, Anthony. He's like, I know, I know. <laughs> I know, I know. That sounds like him. <laughs> but all the time, I would be like, I'm going to punch someone in the face. And one time, my two-year-old, she was then two years old. She's sitting right next to me. She's a teeny little thing. And she's sitting next to me. She grabs me by the face. She goes, Mommy, are you mad at me? I'm like, no, I'm not mad at you. I'm so sorry I'm mad, but I'm not mad at you. Just like, you know, she would be like feeling my anger build up. The energy, um, yeah, yeah. The energy build up around, you know. And so this is why, like, you know, I just, you know, we work really hard to make this kind as affordable as possible. I know it's not even in at the range it's at in most people's range, but like we're giving them so much. No, like, right. No, you have to. At an amazing to. price. It yeah. is at an amazing price. It's an amazing price. It is For worth a reason, right? Because I don't want people to be put off by sticker shock, be like, no, that's too expensive. She's a trust money. Blah, blah, blah. No, the work. The same people the that are going to complain about the price are going to go buy Dunkin' Donuts every day this week or a pack no. of fucking cigarettes or. <laughs> You know, but, some other stupid shit that they waste their money on. You but, know, cancel but, your Netflix for 10 months the, and just buy it. The amount, okay? right, that's true, 10 months of Netflix. The wow. amount of work that you and your team have put oh, behind it's insane. this it's insane. and the refining that you have done based on your past cleanses, it just gets better yeah, and better. And the amount of work is tremendous. I don't know how you do it for as cheap as you do. I don't know how, are you in a cardboard box right now? Like, is there just props <laughs> behind you? Because I don't know how you do it for as cheap as you do. It's insane. Well, I mean, I have a husband. I'm very grateful that he, you know, <laughs> he, he does the work. But I mean, you know, I mean, it's, you know, I have private clients too. But the thing is, what I'm trying to, we, bouncing off your point earlier, is like, you know, when people don't listen, I don't know what's causing this reflection out here. What is that here? What is that? There's like oh, a that's like that's my computer. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what is that? Reflection. Okay, but, you know, like, people... People really, I want people to know it's not going to, for 117 bucks, yeah, right? You get the guide, you get the recipe guide, the detox guide, the FAQ list. You get so many handouts, so many recipes, so much support. And then for bonuses, right? We're giving, I'm doing a class on oh, sleep, yeah, this is new. sleep and chronic illness. Never done that one before. You which know, I usually, am very interested in. <laughs> yeah, and then one on which most women, biggest question from women about their non, like, it's not the, you know, it's not the biggest health issue, but it's sort of like the biggest aesthetic issue. My hair is falling out. My hair looks crap. My hair this. So I got together with this woman. She's a hair shaman, she calls herself. Um, and it's about how to take care of your hair and make it more beautiful, right? It's 
amazing. And then, and then you guys, all of you guys on Instagram and Facebook, everyone was like, Oh, I need to know about GMOs and, 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 you know, about what's non GMO, what's GMO, what's Cause I posted about mangoes. I bought, remember I went to the market, the, um, uh, wholesale market and yeah. I came back with non organic mangoes at like $7 a box. Yeah. And, and someone, someone started paying me articles about how mangoes are GMO. And I'm like, no, they're not. And she's right. like, no, yeah, they are. I'm like, no, they're not. <laughs> and yeah. she's like sending me articles. I'm like, these are fake or not good information, but they're not GMO. And right. so I just realized that there's so much misunderstanding about what's GMO, what's not, what can you have organic? What do you, can you not have organic? How do you do it on a budget? How do you um, figure out what's true organic? What's biodynamic? There's so many freaking labels. Right. And, and what, like people think that in the United States, you can figure that out. You can't, they don't label well here. So yeah. I, I wanted to do this class just to inform all of you how to really understand your navigation, you're navigating your way around fruits and vegetables, like how to make it better, more like turned on, you know, tuned in, you know, the inside stuff, you know, so it's just, you know, they'll say, for example, I'll give you an example of one of the things I'm going to teach in the class. They say popcorn is non-GMO. It's non-GMO corn. Um, and they they will talk about that. Right? Popcorn is non-GMO corn, but it's actually GMO because of cross-contamination. And right. then people like, well, you know, with cross-contamination, everything, because corn is like 94% GMO production in this country. Right. So. Yeah, so I'm just saying that I'm going to be getting into that kind of stuff so that people yeah. have the inside knowledge and the inside track on what foods are safe to buy non-organic. I mean, safe from a perspective of no chemicals, safe from a perspective of it's not GMO. Mm -hmm. You don't have to worry mm -hmm. about it. Right. Um, and so, and so, having been in your, having been in your cleanses, this is still new information. Like, right. you know, it's right. not, I, Let me ask you that. So can people go back and like buy the travel? Um, yeah. Travel webinar is available. Okay. The, yeah. um, the weight issues one is available. The homeopathic okay. one is available. And so the green your home. So those, your home. And those are. Those are classes that I did separately. So and those are really cheap. So like if yeah. you're really that. Light Beacon, yes. This information will be as a bonus. Yeah. It'll be a different class that I'm giving away for free if you buy by tomorrow at midnight. Right. Yeah. Basically, in nice. the package. In the package, yeah. right. And you get the, I'm going to run a class. You know how everybody loved, I got so much great feedback on the weight issues webinar. So many people loved it. It was so, um, so Me. fun to do as well. I think the other one is sleep, right? So many people have issues about yeah. sleep. Then someone asked me to do one on dental health, right? Really getting deep yeah. into the dental piece. So I'm like, okay, I could do that. So I, you know, I could sell those on my website, but I'm including them for free in the cleanse. You guys just, I hope you get that. It's right. You get a lot for, for what you're paying. The, right. price, the price will go up like on the 13th, it'll go up to 167. So if you want to buy with the bonuses tomorrow by midnight, right now. You really want to do it. <laughs> don't, don't get on wait. It. <laughs> get on it. I mean, it's it's the value is amazing. But you yeah. know, so what I love about you guys is you guys put your like lives on, and you're having dinner, right? So what you're doing just by doing your everyday thing, you're teaching people, right? right? You're not doing anything different. This is a That's like really a, a day in the life or an evening in the life of you know. Lexi and Jimmy. Pretty much. And Jimmy, right? Yeah. Well, and, you, most of the time we do that not purposefully. It's because it's the only time we have to do it. Right, right. I but know. it happens to be beneficial. Yeah. But, but I mean, it is because you're living the lifestyle. So every yeah. time you open your mouth, you do something, whatever, you, you know, it, you're just, you're educating just by being in your space, by showing what you do. Right. It is, it is actually really a powerful thing and what I want yeah. people to get who are watching you guys who are watching on Facebook and Insta you guys are all doing the same don't think that Lexi and Jimmy are like they're cool and amazing humans and <laughs> so are all of you but so are all of you you can be educating people just by your conviction 
right? right? And your faith right. and belief in something because they don't waver, right? Yeah. They don't waver in their in their understanding of the information. They don't waver in their like we're just doing this. Like, what's your problem? Yeah. Oh. Like, no, it's the don't truth. Don't look at me like I'm crazy. Right. <laughs> you know? Right. Right. No, actually, right. most yeah, most people are crazy because of what they're putting in their bodies, right. and they don't right. question but it. People, you know? So people will be like. Oh no, protein! No protein, but that's but, what's so good. But 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 you go and you're really like, oh, I've got cancer. I'm doing chemo. That's not crazy. I know and people that's do. What's so bizarre but, is, but the fact that nobody has a problem with it. I know people make those choices. I'm not judging anybody's choices. Right. Yeah, but I'm what is saying the public's reaction to those choices is like totally normal. But yeah. if you cut out protein, it's like, oh my right. god. Freak out. Right. What is such lunacy is almost everyone on this planet will take a fucking pill from a doctor having no idea what is in it. And, without question. Right. and then you tell them that you're eating a plant based diet and they look at you like you're insane. And I'm like, I see that you see the celery. There's one fucking ingredient in it. You're eat you just ate that pill. You don't know what the hell is in it. Right. You have no idea what it's going to do to your body. And yet. Yeah, I just took it. Yeah, yeah I know. Yeah. And they have the, the right, there's no like questioning. Even if you took like, you know, you could be on eight pills and people are like, yeah, just pop them, you know. I, and my you know, doctor's that's, my that's, doctor's one of, that's one of the things I love about Paul is he'll go into the doctor and literally like laugh in his face. The doctor's like, you know, I want you to eat this and this. And he's like, <laughs> hey, now you eat that. <laughs> what you, you don't know anything. He's like, He's like, I'll teach you about nutrition. You want to know about nutrition? This is what you should be eating. Yeah. So there's a really funny comment, Fruitfully Laura. She's like, when I start eating vegan, suddenly everyone cares about what I eat. Right. 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 Yeah. Right. Yeah. right. You know, what was you. funny was my I was FaceTiming with my mom and my sister the other day. They were in Florida. They were at a wedding. And, you know, my older sister went to go get um, something to eat. And she came back with pizza. And she said... Oh, don't tell the vegan I'm eating pizza. And now, you know why she had to make that comment? Because she knew she was wrong eating that food. Because why else would you make that comment? I didn't say anything about what she was eating. Right. I didn't. But so it was her conscience. It was her conscience. Oh man. Yeah, that was very interesting. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> We're working so, on you guys, it. I'm seeing this thing on Insta. It says 143 seconds remaining. Okay. Right. Do you guys know what that means? I've never seen yeah. that before. It means we're done in a minute and 43 seconds. Yeah. Is that right? Is that yeah. such a yeah. thing? They're I'm glad that can, you go, can we keep going on Facebook? Yeah, we can keep going on Facebook. Yeah. We could even restart the Instagram if people yeah, want. Yeah, we might have to restart. You guys, if you're listening, Insta's going to boot us off in a minute and 20 seconds, 19, 18. Yeah. <laughs> and counting. So if it does that, we're just going to come right back on. Okay? Yeah. Because we're not done talking. The no. other topic I wanted to address, you know how you said about the emotions, right? Yeah. And Anthony, linking this back to his show on compassion, I really, really, really want to teach people how to have that self-compassion. And we're bringing that into our cleanse. Like we're bringing that in, right? Right. And honestly, so many people really don't get it. Like they, they feel so bad about themselves and they right. see so bad about so much stuff and they, and they take it out on themselves and they, and they hold back. They can heal for it to a degree, but then they hold something back and, um, healthy self seven. Thanks. I didn't know we had, I didn't know we had an hour limit. Yeah. But, on Instagram. Really? Yeah. For mm -hmm. regular mm -hmm. lives or joint mm -hmm. lives? Well, we'll just start it. You know, somebody just said that they're worried about their symptoms getting worse when detoxing. I think I just want to speak to that because I think we really get in our own heads that, oh, my God, it's going to be worse than we think it is. All right. Let's get back on Instagram. Yeah. Does it yeah. shut yeah. off? Let's do that now. Um, do so it. when you go live, we'll join again. I'm live. Um, I'm back on Insta, people. I'm back on Insta. So, <laughs> oh, you know what? Hold on. We lost the volume here. Let me turn you on. Okay, there we go. Hello, people. Yeah. We just jump right back on. Okay, I'm joining you here again. I'm just waiting for um, Homegrown to send me a join request. There they are. There they are. 
there we are. And something. It says waiting for home grade, connecting. And boom. Okay. We are yeah. back. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. So, yeah, just, we were talking about the compassion piece, right? I mean, you know, so many people really don't either believe that they're going to get better. You don't hear anything. Faith, hope, he'll sing. Sound is off. Really? Can you hear now? Can you hear? Okay. Can you hear Maniza? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Oh, us? Yeah. I can hear you. You can hear me? Yeah. People who are listening, can you hear me? Can you hear Maniza? Better. Hold on. Better? Okay. Yes. Sarah says yes. Okay, both. Yes to both. Yes. All right. Awesome. Yes, okay. Okay. So, yeah, we were talking about the whole compassion piece, right? Health Lounge, yeah. hi. So, Ali Kunin, hi. Yeah. So, we we're talking about the compassion piece. I think so many people don't believe that they can heal. Or, yeah. Or they kind of believe it, but they don't fully believe it. Or people believe that, you know, the fruit really is a little bit good, but if I do too much, I might, you know, it might make it worse. Right. 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 I, we did have somebody ask us, is this truly the way to heal or will you fully heal? And, but like you said, honestly, it's living a detox lifestyle. Yes, completely. And because once you, that. yes. And once you get better, once you heal, once you eliminate toxins from your body, once you knock down the viral load, yes, you are healed. But those pathogens, pathogens are never fully gone because we always want to keep a little in us, number one. Number two, we're exposed to new stuff every day. So it's important that this is truly, you get in that mentality that it's a way of life. And 100%. once you Dave start eating is asking why she feels tired even after detoxing or eating right. So you guys, when your body is detoxing, you're using so much energy to heal. Um, yeah. So if you feel tired, extra tired, it's not because it's not working. Look, I'm gonna, right. I'm gonna say this. First up, about the label thing that we brought up earlier, right? You were talking, they have a name for everything. Yeah. I'm like, people will text me, and say, oh, or email me and say, oh, some long name, do you know how to heal this? Or some long name, uh, you know, Chiari, uh, Chiari formation syndrome type one, whatever. Mm -hmm. I mean, I heard that for the first time a few months ago. I'm like, what the heck is that? And right. the point though is that, you know, it the name is not important. Anthony's taught us there's four things you need to, to everything, all illness is caused by four things. Right. It's caused by either viruses or metals or both. Um, or radiation or pesticides. And the combination of these is um, is that. Trish, the young lady who's on with me, her name is Lexi, and she's from Homegrown Healers. And she, <laughs> she and her husband, actually, Jimmy, who's not in the screen yeah, right now. We'll be right back. Like, amazing couple. He's getting more food. <laughs> who really are really out there talking about medical medium and, and healing and all that. So what I want to say is that about detox, right? Um, when you have, if you know all illness is caused by these four things, all illness, all illness, all illness, it doesn't matter what the name of it is, right? That's how, once you know that, that's really empowering. And the other piece is when you detox and you just have to understand that you're going to go like up and down with it. It's not going to be a straight line. It's going to be really, no. uh, yeah, it's going to be really this incredible, um, mm -hmm. difficult, it can be it can be well, difficult. It can be easy for some people, but honestly, I mean, Lexi, the more the more toxic you are, the harder it is, and the gentler you have to go. So right. sometimes, the more toxic somebody is, they just want to be like a, like a freaking bullet train. They're like, "I'm going for it!" Right, right, right. And we're right. Like, well, wait, hold the brakes. Can't do you that. Know what? Paul did that, and Paul went hard, man. I gave him I gave him some things to do and start incorporating, and I gave him like starting dosages and how to work his way up. And he went straight balls to the wall, man. He's like, dude, I drank that whole thing last night. I was like, what? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then awesome. other things, he's like, I went a little too hard on this. He's like, so I had to back it off. So you listen yeah. to your body. You know, yeah. when Lexi, when we started detoxing, um, Alexis got everything from little breakouts to big sores on her tongue. She put weight on. Getting, I was even getting these myoclonic jerks where my shoulder was just like, like I was resting or relaxing. Yeah. It was really scary, you know? Yeah. 
And, and I actually, I lost weight. I went down, I went from like 205 pounds down to like 173, mm-hmm. where like I was starting to worry about myself. Wow. But then I hit a point where uh, I started putting the weight back on. I, I, st- I had a little more energy to do a little more weight training. And now I'm back mm-hmm. up. I'm probably up at like 185 now, which is a decent weight for me. Right. Um, you guys, you guys, uh, you know how many questions about health are coming up? I just want to say one thing. Maybe I, you know, I said it yesterday. I want to say it again. If you didn't hear me, I'm, it's not actually, I'm not legally able to give you health advice as a practitioner. Dutsy and Jimmy can, (laughs) I can't, Uh, because, because I'm a practitioner, I can't do that. There's all kinds of laws that govern what I can say, but because they're not actually practitioners yet. Um, <laughs> you were, they yeah. Can, they can say, you know, uh, they have a lot more leeway to I'm answer done. questions like that, like the daily headaches after miscarriage and things like that. That's why I made the cleanse because I can answer the questions in that format with the d- guides and everything else that I provide you. So I'm, I used to do it all the time. I can, sorry, I can't do it. I can answer general health questions. I just can't answer right. anyone's specific ones. So garden, gardening tash, yes, heavy metals, viruses, pesticides, and radiation. That is correct. It is in the Unforgiving Four in his first book, in his second book, Life Changing Foods, he talks about it. So um, Jimmy was saying, right, you were talking about Paul and how too much sure. detox, he went, he went <laughs> off the rails, but he figured it out, right? Right. Yeah, yeah. he figured it out. And he just had to, yeah. Right. We're just plug in and over here. Sorry, so Mary Grabo Agrios on Facebook, you are asking, is this a slow cleanse? Actually, Mary, it's an intuitive cleanse. So what that means is you get to pick the menus that work for you. If you right. want to do more fat free, more raw, you want to do a little more cooked. It depends on where you are. I've even included. Look, if you guys have partners who would love to do the cleanse with you, but are like, I can't go plant based. I included animal healthy animal protein recipes. You know, even today, right? Mm-hmm. Anthony said on the live today, he said meat and all doesn't feed viruses, but it can make it too fatty for you to heal. So right. I provided recipes with animal fat, that animal proteins that are really the lowest in fat to try and help you all be able to still do this. Cause I want everybody to know, like if you are really <laughs> wanting to try this, but you don't think you can go plant-based, you can do the cleanse because I have mm-hmm. people, it's a, for the first time, you know, it's so exciting. You guys, Jimmy, you're going to love this. I have women who are buying it to do it with their partners because they're like, as long as you have some animal protein in there, I can get them to do it. Yeah. Right. Is that yeah, cool? Jimmy, Jimmy was just like, yeah. And you know, I actually, it took me a few more months than Alexis to wean myself off the animal proteins because I was, you know, into building my body. I wanted to put muscle on. I just loved meat all day, every day, three times a day. He didn't know to eat 20 dates. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know to eat 20 dates and mangoes and, you know, apples. So, Jimmy, what did it for you? Like, as a guy, you know, when you first heard Anthony or first heard Lexus, Alexis talking about him or whatever it was, what was your first reaction to Anthony? My first reaction to him was, um he was sent from heaven because when she read that book and she told me that her because i knew her whole medical history from going to all these doctors and learning all of that um you i learned that you know her tonsillitis her epstein bar when she was 16 was linked to her tonsillitis when they ripped her fucking tonsils out at 21 because that's the doctor's answer we're just chopping right, fucking right, right, body parts right. out until you yeah, got nothing yeah. left. right and then when they removed the tonsils the strep and the ebv traveled down to her bladder and what happened six years later five years later she ended up with interstitial cystitis right and now another six years later we're back in the doctor's office and then the bursitis was linked. And I mean, dude, she went to, we took her to the emergency room one time. She thought her leg was broken and she didn't you know, you know what bursitis is from? It's, it's viral. Yeah. But it's shingles. Yeah. So many people don't know that. Yeah. The bursitis. Did you oh know? Oh my it was God. I do. I did. Know I did not shingles. know. Oh my God. I knew it was that viral. Was, I didn't know which one. We thought my leg was, excuse my language, effing broken. We, it was, the pain was that bad. Me was getting off the couch one day. 
and he put his hand accidentally on my ankle as he popped his bucket up. I mean, talk about like 20 out of 10 pain. I went through the roof. It was excruciating. And then we go to sure. the to get a um, MRI of the you knee. Know, like, Great, some radiation yeah. into the knee. <laughs> yeah, we'll add some radiation. And wow. he tells me it's a little bursitis, and there's really not much they can do. And I'm like, unreal. So, so yeah, then I'm learning, do, learning that I'm it was the shingles virus. I'm gonna do a class for husband's dad. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some lives. I'm gonna do some Jimmy, you're showing up muffled. Closer. Sorry. I'm gonna do some posts and some um, some lives for the husbands to kind of encourage them and teach them how I did it. And so my my first response to Anthony to get back to your original question, I mean, is it was I thought he was a godsend because all That's of the amazing. light bulbs started going off for her. And then, like we said, as soon as she had her first um, cycle after she started his program, it was like that solidified, that locked it in. And then, you know, we still had some doubts and stuff. And, and she still, she was so traumatized and so PTSD after all the shit she went through. And, you know, she would get off the phone with her sister, who's a, a, a pediatric dentist and thinks she knows anything about the human body. And, and she'd be hysterical crying. And I would come home from work and I'd be like, dude, I'm going to turn your phone off and not let you talk to these people anymore because it's insanity. Like, we know this is the truth. We know this is the way to go. How the fuck are you letting these people get in your head? But she was just so sensitive and so vulnerable. Yeah. That even her dad saying, you know, I just don't get it. Like, why don't you just go to sleep? That would fire her off and she'd be hysterical crying. With and the like, insomnia. This is your daughter you're talking to. What are you doing? Showing anything other than support. He's like, like, why can't you just lay down and go to sleep? I'm like, <laughs> right. And she, yeah. she'd be bawling crying. So no we idea. knew, you know, we knew we had the truth, but it still, it still took a lot of coaching from me. Almost every day I had to tell her, like, honey, this is the truth. We know it's the truth. We got our sign from God. You got your cycle. You had no symptoms. You knew it. You knew it. But but just there were certain things. I just want to encourage people that maybe, you know, are on the path and still having a few doubts. That's perfectly natural. It's it's okay to have a few doubts. Jimmy, how do you get through to men who are not necessarily as faithful as you are, maybe not have as much faith, um, who are, like you said, you know, the first thing you said, this is a sign from heaven. That right. is not every man's reaction. Right. right, right. Right. Well, you know what? I think. Yeah, and you cannot mind over matter nerve related stuff, Mary. It is. No. Really right. Up. Well, nerve stuff. You there is no mind over matter at all. No. No, no. matter of will. And, and and we, you know, I tried that. I tried that with her. I would help her meditate. I would speak to her and and try to zone her in on positivity. Because Which helps it, to a degree. I mean, at least it's not right, during right, the right. And it, did. it was it was it helped for a while, and it helped at times. But there were certain times and where he didn't understand it either, just though. Could, yeah, I didn't there understand times, it, but I had to accept it. There were times, but there were times he would get frustrated and be like, "I was just, you know, I I just rubbed your chest, and I I just did a little prayer and a meditation, or we just put on some soft music and." you seem to be doing better. And then right. my body would start trembling out of control again. And, and I said, yeah, but it's it, autonomic. It's, right. I said, this isn't exactly. something I have control over. Exactly. And he, he got to learn that. And honestly, learning Anthony's information helped well, him to understand it more. So, so, the, so my point yeah, so she, so she made a comment. Like she so said, you know, the emotions, the emotions do trigger it because they activate your adrenal glands and the adrenaline the corrosive adrenaline feeds the virus, activates it, and lowers your immune system. Go ahead, Muniz, I'm sorry. No, no, I was going to bring you back to how do you get through to men? Like, okay, so how did you get through to, like, the construction workers, your colleagues, your coworkers? So, how did you? One of the, I mean, I'm, I'm the example, right? They look at me, and they're the same age as me or younger, and they got these pot bellies, and they don't feel good. They feel sluggish. They're looking at me, eat fruit. The other, the guy one day, the other day, actually, the guy said to me, he's like, dude, you eat like you have two assholes. <laughs> I'm like, because I'm, like, I'm literally, I'm looking all day in the brain. Like every time there's something not going on, I have a, a food out and I'm eating. And I'm like, well, if you would eat like me, then you could actually eat like me. Because it's because of what I eat 
the quantity that I can eat that I have to actually eat because I have to eat yeah. all those calories. And, you know, I, I still go to work sometimes on three to five hours of sleep, but I can function. If I wasn't doing this, I'd be dead. I'd be dead because my adrenals took such a beating from coaching her through this and from staying yeah, up all night. I mean, better. honestly, Jimmy, as no matter how strong a guy you are, watching somebody you love be sick is traumatizing. No. Yeah. And, and and you know what, Muniza? It was worse for me because I knew how bad it could get. I watched right. my mother deteriorate over 30 years and then succumb to death from it. You know what also Jimmy uses? That was horrifying. He'll say to men, he'll say, who is our closest relative? In the animal kingdom. In the animal kingdom. The gorillas. Gorillas yeah, the and monkeys, the right? The gorillas, yeah. The gorillas don't drink muscle milk. They don't eat whey protein bars. <laughs> They don't eat fucking chicken. They don't eat turkey. They're not pumping their body full of shit. You know what they eat? 75% fruit, 20% greens, 5% bugs. They're not getting enough protein from the bugs to fuel a 400-pound solid muscle frame and pull themselves up a fucking tree with one arm. Okay? It's the glucose. Glucose, mineral. What did he say? You guys weren't there, I don't think, on Insta today when he's doing his live. No, he, we watched it back. He said he was talking about glucose. He was talking about how do you build muscle? You know, it's connected to the protein discussion, right? Yeah. yeah. So he said you need three things to build a muscle. You need glucose, glucose mineral salt, 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 and, and, you use, and it. use it. Right. And yep. It, right. right. Yep. And so you're right. Like some of the reasons why, you know, some people will say to me, I cannot um, Kids put listening. Whoops, weight. Sorry, let's never yet. Sorry. I can't, I can't put weight on or my muscles have lost tone. And the reason your muscles lose tone is because they're full of toxins. So when the mineral salts come in and they remove the toxins, you can start to build your tone again. But you have to you have to bring in, you know, a lot more glucose, 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 yeah. glucose, right. mineral salts, glucose, glucose, glucose. So it's like 80, 80, 80, 80, 80 glucose or 75 percent glucose. And then you got to bring in like 30 percent, 20 percent greens and um a few nuts people, and seeds maybe a little bit and you and know then people, you're in a good have be, people have to be ready to receive it and yeah. you know a lot of the guys on the job site they've been ready to receive it um one of my friends joey that's actually watching right now what's up jojo hey he, Hold on. I, I, hey, hey jimmy i just want to answer this question a- andy marie photo says doesn't glucose feed cancer or no so this is a really important no. question so yeah, not yeah. all sugar is sugar is sugar so white table sugar will feed it, crap sugar, processed sugar will feed it, but fruit will not feed cancer. Fruit no. does not Kill feed you. any bugs. Fruit does not feed, the sugar from fruit does not feed bacteria, it does not feed viruses, it does not feed parasites, it does not feed fungi, it does not feed any kind of pathogen. Mm-hmm. Um, other sugar does. And what Anthony says is that cancer is actually caused by two things. You got to have a virus and a toxin that it loves to eat both together. Um, but fruit heals cancer. If you so are we- familiar with him and his books on life-changing foods, he's got tons of examples of foods. Like cherries will heal Hodgkin's lymphoma and Hodgkin's lymphoma. Wild blueberries for everything. Shaga. Greens. I mean, the anti-cancer properties. Sweet potatoes. Are sweet potatoes. Potatoes, even. Sweet potatoes. So crazy. Usually anti-cancer. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, exactly. So I'm sorry to interrupt you, but I thought that was a really important question. No, it's all good. My buddy Joey just texted me, and he's, you know, a construction animal like me, and he's watching this. So, hold, but, so Sylvie, is that medically proven? Hang on one sec. Um, mm-hmm. sorry. <laughs> um, <laughs> It, is that medically proven? Actually, Anthony says that, you know, sci- his science is like 20, 30 years ahead of its time. So it will right. be proven in the future. But I can tell you something else. Well, it has been proven. You know what? Uh, look up uh, Joyce O'Brien. She's got a book out called Choose to Live. Yes. And yes. she cured herself and her husband from stage four cancer. Yes. And the plant-based yes. diet was a huge cornerstone of that. Huge. Plant-based and fruit, um, not just plant-based and like keto. You know what I mean? Right, right. Yeah. No, yeah. it has to be has to be the fruit. And there's so many people. Um, what's the other guy? Chris cured cancer is another yeah. awesome right. guy. guy. He was on before with Anthony, the food. He was on before stuff. Anthony, and he is amazing. So YouTube him, Chris cured cancer. Check him out. He actually does. He links to a lot of like scientific studies. That summit actually, I want to join them because. 
they have a lot of doctors, forward thinking doctors that are doing the groundwork. You know, we don't, I don't need that because you know what? I know that everything that comes out of Anthony's face is medical scripture. So I don't give a yeah, shit. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Johnny Davis is asking, why is that one time I did have my sugar under control, but then I got a severe infection. It's been out of control. Johnny, do you have type one diabetes? I'm just wondering because right. usually, um, uh, a severe infection can damage the pancreas, and that's why your sugar can get out of control. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you've been tested, but you kind of have some pre-diabetes, diabetes stuff going on, and severe infections can usually cause that because they cause your pancreas to not be able to make the kind of insulin. And Anthony has done, mm -hmm. uh, he, did, he did on YouTube his live with Robbie Barbero, mm -hmm. um, who is a type one diabetic, who basically, Robbie literally just eats fruits and vegetables. Yeah. That was not fun. Oh, sorry. My, <laughs> my light fell down. So, funny, um, uh, so <laughs> let me uh, address this question from Amy, uh, this comment from Amy Renee. Oh, um, by the way, before you go on, tons of people are asking for the name of that book again. Jamie, could you, could you the name of the book? let them know? Uh, choose, oh, choose, choose to, to live, live. That by helped Joyce O'Brien. That actually helped me during my ICA. time of interstitial system. Yeah. Before I knew about but she Anthony. cured herself and her husband. She was actually a Long Islander, and she cured yeah. herself and her husband, and she's still alive today. Uh, so I want to address this uh, comment from Amy Renee Manassian. I apologize if I butcher your name. Uh, Demon. 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 Uh, so she says it's lovely that we have each other, and her being alone is the hardest part. Is the hardest part. So Amy, I can't encourage you enough to beg, borrow, and steal to get enough money up to join Muniz's cleanse. It's $117, and you will have more support than you know what to do with. You will have 24-hour access to people in the cleanse and admins in the cleanse who will answer your questions and support you and tell you whether you should, you know, whether it's a detox symptom or whether you're having a flare-up or, you know, no matter what's going on, they can answer your individual questions and they can encourage you and support you. Please join the and plan. connecting here and in this community through Instagram, yeah. through Facebook, through the you'll walk away online. with a group of you're friends. You're really not alone. Yeah, you're, you're really not. not alone. Like not. being here, you're here with us right now, yeah. and you're just not alone when you're doing this because there's so many of us, including myself, that are still working on healing, still bettering ourselves, still you know trying to get our health top notch. Um, and we're all really doing it together. Right. And even though we have each other, we still wouldn't be where we are now without the support of Muniza and the resource of her cleanses. We just, we wouldn't, we wouldn't. Hey, you know what, Amy, there's people on Instagram. I don't, I think you're on Facebook, but there's Instagram people going, Amy, Please connect with us. We would love to support you. Right. And so, Amy, get an Instagram account. I, she has one. She has okay. one. And, uh, but I just, you know, I would encourage you to reach out to the people in the community on, on Insta because there's so many who are willing to support and help. I don't want you to feel alone and you shouldn't have to. There's so many of us. Kelly, um, go join the cleanse on Muniz's profile. Click the oh link. Oh, my God. Julie just said, Amy, I'm going to, I got you. I'd like to give to the cleanse to you. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Whoa. What? <laughs> no Aww. way. That is Aww. so beautiful. That is so amazing, Julie. You See? rock, girl. That's that is so that's beautiful. That's really beautiful. Wow. That's amazing. Wow. This is why I love that's this. That's really touching. Yeah. Wow. It is touching. <laughs> Last time I was on and someone came on as well and she couldn't buy supplements and she could only buy B12. And then like five or maybe 15, 20 people came on and said, I'll donate to get you supplements. And she was able yeah. to get like the five main supplements she needed because she was asking me the five supplements she needed. And I was telling her and she didn't have the money for them. And then people came on and I just thank you. Thank you. So see, Amy, God is great. You have not because you asked not and you had the courage to ask. And now you have, you have <laughs> oh a new friend gosh. and so supporter. Amazing. Julie just gifted her the cleanse. That's just like that's amazing. I, I just, I just, it's so kind, yeah. it's so kind. There's so much love here, so much compassion, yeah. and you we know, we do have the best community ever. Yeah, yeah. We, our community rocks. Our community yeah. rocks. You just, know what do you call the? What do you call them? Are my our? Oh, our, our friends in the computer. Our vegan friends. Our there friends, was a post somebody can, posted, and it's like, where are your vegan friends? And we're like, 
in the computer. For me, it's like our friends are in the computer. <laughs> They're in the computer screen. I'm going to open up my screen and show up. Sylvie, so if fruit is good, which I do believe, why would I always break out in severe acne when I eat dates and only when I eat dates? Well, because dates are activating a healing for you, a very deep Pathogen healing. die off. It's a pathogen die off that's coming up through your lymphatic system. So I can't go much deeper into this. Right. But, right. but, but your honestly, lymph eliminates this, the toxins this, through your skin. It's eliminating the toxins, and that's why it's coming up through there. This right. is the stuff that we get into in the right. program. Right. If you're in the program, I will yeah. get deeper. I can. I can't do right. it here. I'm sorry. And generally, I don't want to get into trouble. Anthony says we're technically we're not allergic to fruits and vegetables. If you're having some sort of reaction, it's because there's pathogen in you right. that it's either, a, you know, that it's killing off, basically. And Actually, my cousin uh, I messaged her because Anthony said, what did he post? He posted that something was good for MS. So I forwarded her because I'm that annoying cousin. <laughs> I forwarded her a screenshot that this was really good for MS. Time T. The thyme tea was really good for MS. It and is because it gets to the viruses in the brain. So right. MS is so, usually where the virus is inside the central nervous system. And right. thyme is one of the few things, I just want to explain to people, um, one of that the few things the brain, that right. can cross that blood-brain barrier and get right. to the virus that's actually sitting in your brain, which is why it's so good for MS. Right. Um, so she texted me back that she was at a wine tasting or some shit and i was like oh well i guess they're not gonna have time tea there so maybe later <laughs> and but then we got deeper into it and she said she was she was allergic to droops now i thought it was a spell check i said did you mean grapes and she said no droops so droops are like um fruits with nut inside of them right like uh peach or a plum. Oh, like stone fruit. Yeah. Right. Plums, right. Peaches, um, apples. Yeah, they have. So she has a reaction to peanuts, which yeah, I said, yeah. fine, you don't want to eat peanuts because they're loaded with, you know, fungi, um, fungi mold. And, and mold. And she's allergic to coconuts. Right. And right. I said, well, the coconuts you got to work on because that's a really powerful healing food mm-hmm. and antiviral. So I said, what kind of reaction are you having? And she said she gets itchy mouth. And tongue, and it's from the not just the coconut meat; it's from the water as well. So, uh, you know, I, I have yet yeah, I have to message her back, but it's yeah, it's it's a die off reaction because it's a really powerful antiviral. Yeah. Um. And so, so he, yeah, what's peanuts? Elena Mortali, yeah, peanuts are covered in molds, like four hundred different kinds of molds. Peanuts are not a very health giving food. Um. So, um. So she's so she's asking you, uh, Lexi. Was it similar to you with your cystitis with the fruit, thinking it is a flare up, but actually detox like lemon water, tomatoes, etc. You know what? For me, actually, with my cystitis specifically, I couldn't pinpoint it and identify any one food that was triggering it. Um, the elimination diet was not something that worked for me. It seemed like it would flare with everything. Um, I was in the bathroom yeah, every random. ten minutes. I was always in pain. Um, it was pretty constant, pretty chronic. So you know what? For me, I was one of those people that kind of just went all in. And I was like, I know lemon water is good for me. I know tomatoes are good for me. I'm going to eat them anyway because I can't identify any one specific food triggering me. So I just did it. And I'll tell you what, things have really, really, really calmed down. From there. Yeah. <laughs> and the first time, so when we read that first book, um, choose to live and we met a naturopath that recommended getting off of gluten dairy eggs that's all we we removed we didn't know about the meat and the high fat high protein bogging the liver down preventing the body from healing and cleansing so this time though when we found anthony and we read the books and we cut out when she cut out the meat it was a game changer absolute game changer and the other little tweaks like cut out the corn. You know, we were doing a ton of tortilla chips. We were doing like guac with tortilla chips and thinking we were doing the right thing, not knowing we're doing corn. Then we switched to rice chips and we're like, why is our, you know, why is the strep not going away? Um, so 
you, these little tweaks that you're going to learn. Right. And, and even in Muniz's cleanse, you know, she's taught us a ton of little just micro adjustments that even expand upon what Anthony taught us that are just tremendous. Um, I, I'm thinking of just a random one off the top of my head that that uh, what was that? Monsanto sun sun foods sun foods that sun you like food or, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they're all awesome. awesome. but I just everybody's saying you know like oh what a miracle you healed all that um I don't want to play it off as that everything is perfect like I still I always have since a little girl have always had to go to the bathroom frequently um the frequency is much better I mean I drink a tremendous amount of fluids throughout the day now from the celery juice to the heavy metal detox smoothie to melon juice to the aloe water, to an, another juice, to, you know, two 28-ounce waters. I drink a tremendous amount. So I go to the bathroom a lot still, but the pain is no longer there. Um, there, you know, if my adrenals or my nervous system do get triggered, I will have increased frequency. So it's not like, I like, I still have to watch myself and I still have to be careful, you know. It's not like, oh, you know, like she had see terribly and now she's 100% cured. Like, Again, I'm living the detox lifestyle to keep it in check, to keep it down, to help heal the scar tissue. You know, I had a tremendous amount of scar tissue in the bladder from the strep burrowing itself deep into my bladder lining. Um, so the scar tissue is still not 100% healed. So I'm still working on that with Yeah, you but guys. you're healing <laughs> 32 years of illness. Right, right. Actually, 34. I'm 34. Yeah. Well, <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking, I'm always going back to the two years and you know, when we started I was, this. I was but. never somebody who had urinary tract infections or anything like that, but I remember I was about eight, or eight, eight years old, maybe, and I went on a trip with my grandparents, and I forget, we drove to, like, Illinois from New Hampshire, and it was, like, you know, a day trip, and my grandmother said to me at eight years old, we have to get you checked out. There's something wrong with you. You go to the bathroom too much. And I remember going to the doctors when we got back and the doctor saying, she's fine. She just has to go to the bathroom a lot. But little did I know that I already had the Epstein-Barr virus and strep brewing in me. And I'm sure that was going to to that. So, yes, <laughs> 34 oh, years of healing. I love your story. You guys – make me so proud to listen to it because you talk like Anthony talks about your sickness because you understand it so well and you explain yeah. it so well. Thank you. I think Thank if everybody you. understood their illness this way, if everybody understood their illness this way, they would really be like, you have to explain it to people to, you know, I yeah. teach because it helps me understand better. Yeah, because right. I have to then go study it and I have to go understand it. And I then go and dig up every single resource and go back and reread and reread and understand. And so, you know, people have been calling me on, on Facebooks and the interwebs. I've, people have been saying, Manisa, you're like the dot connector. I'm like, because I do that for me. <laughs> oh, yeah. right? So yeah. then I go, because the questions, I literally like questions about health in my brain never stop ever. Oh, like, thank you, Habim. That was sweet. You guys, you know, you guys know your shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, I, we've you. been, this information just hit home. I'm watermelon juice. We, half, a, half a gallon. That melon. looks amazing. Yeah. That looks delicious. <laughs> oh my so, God. Careful, don't you know, in. the information just, it was like Anthony had written in that, just that first few pages of his book. It was like he had written my life's story we from that from so many people, and and so many, people. So many so people for me I was like how could I not follow this and I just started following it and the more I dove into it the more I wanted to know the more I wanted to learn the more it connected the dots for me and you know I've spent every day for the past over two years now studying his information through you through him and through any any resource out there right. that I could get my hands so on. Take, like, notes so on yes. Like, Catherine, like I'll read, I'll try to read all the comments because Catherine is just tremendous. Too. Yeah. Hey, Johnny on Facebook, Johnny Davis, I, you had asked the question about sugars. I just was wondering if you heard what I said. I was wondering if you've been told that you were diabetic or you had 
type one. I was, I know your hair kind of disappeared, but I just wanted to circle back. Um, yeah. So yeah, you guys are asking about my watermelon juice. Yeah. It's okay at night. I mean, if yeah. I'm going to pee, but like <laughs> I'm going to be hydrated when I wake up in the morning. Cause what often happens is when I'm detoxing, I don't drink enough at night. Then I wake up in the morning. Like his face or head. <laughs> bigger than that looks head. like you could fall in that thing. <laughs> it's bigger than my head. <laughs> Don't fall in there without a life vest. <laughs> it's a half a gallon. This is half a no, gallon. No, I'm not be able to get you out of there. You'd be like the oh dog when he gets God. his head stuck you in know, the railing. But when you like, okay, so when you drink this, you'll pee like a mountain lion. Right. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And that yeah, can be, not. and that can be a problem with for somebody with interstitial cystitis. Yeah, yeah, that can be a problem. Yeah. I thank God don't have IC. Yeah, I no, have that's UTIs crazy. a lot. I've had a lot of UTIs. And, you know, it's like that strep will suddenly show up. I went yeah. to this hot spring retreat um, when I had years ago. I had just met Anthony. I mean, I had known him like maybe three months at this point. And I went to this hot springs retreat. And I was fine. I was doing really great. And middle of the hot spring retreat, we're in the middle of the desert. So I suddenly be like, I have this crazy urge to pee. And I'm nowhere near a bathroom. Oh, and so I had to like go in the bushes, which is fine because I was in the desert anyway. But it just kind of came back. And I remember asking him when I, um, whose job is it to measure how much mountain lions pee? That's a good <laughs> question. Someone's got that job. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. So, Thank so you, Lisa. And like, it just, Habime said that. And then, and I'm in, and I'm wondering, I'm like, so I, I called him when I got back from my trip and I'm like, you know, I'm having like UTI symptoms again. He goes, Oh yeah. All that healing water just pulled. It's starting to pull the strep out. And so wow. you're wow. reaction. That's what he told me. And I'm wow. like, oh, that, that was a, you know, that was like only the 20th time he'd blown my mind. I'm like, right. So, right. tell me more about that. <laughs> tell me more about this. Wow. wow. Yeah, man. That's amazing. Oh my gosh. He blows my mind every That's day so with the information yeah. that he puts out. But Watermelon makes me feel dehydrated. Probably because it's flushing her so much, no? It could be it could be flushing your liver a lot. It's like the body can usurp it into cells which really need it. Um yeah. but if you're peeing out a lot too, you can feel a little dehydrated. But watermelon right. doesn't dehydrate you. No, it you know? hydrates you. It hydrates you. Deeply um, hydrated. Even if, and it's going deep, deep, deep into the cells, right? Deep into yeah. the cells. That's why you yeah. crave it because Especially when you're detoxing. I think, yeah. you know, when we're detoxing and we're following Anthony's protocols or whatever, there's some things that people can be missing, which is what we fill in the gaps for you in the, in the program. Right. You can right. be missing. You can be missing the need to be flushing a lot. You can be missing yeah. the need to be moving more. You can be missing the need to be, you know, really working some aspect of your life or you need to be maybe sweating more, you know? All of those right. things are important. It's really important to understand how detox can work and how to make yes. it work you know, better. Is it yeah. different than just eating watermelon? Yeah, I mean, I can't eat as much. I mean, this is, this That's is, a, what whole, I said to Jimmy. This is a whole watermelon. Yeah. I can't eat a whole watermelon. It's just yeah. going to take me too long, and I get yeah. you know, yeah. I <laughs> But you can drink it. But I can drink it. Exactly. We did that with our um, cantaloupe. Ooh, cantaloupe and a little bit of coconut water. Mm. Try, no, no. try honeydew with a little vanilla. Ooh, we did honeydew and cinnamon, but that, wow, we'll honeydew do that. Honeydew and vanilla is so yeah. delicious. Yeah. What did you um, do with the cantaloupe? You did the coconut water. Coconut water, yeah, yeah. That was so someone right. said, oh, the brown rice issue again. I find myself eating more now. Mm. Yeah, it's a calorie thing. You're yeah. eating more so brown rice because you're missing calories. So switch to potatoes, sweet yeah. potatoes, squashes, and eat the more fruit. The rice is no good if you have any kind of strep in your system. And trust rice me, if you're on planet yeah, Earth, you probably have strep. Feed it doesn't feed viruses, but like Jimmy's saying, it's going to totally strep. feed your strep. Yeah. yeah. When, it actually protects when, it, right? He says it, it puts a protective coating on the strep. When yeah. Your immune exactly. system can't deal with it. When we finally, when we finally cut out um, the grains, the rice, um, that was a big one. The little, the little so-called detox pimple that I thought I was having <laughs> actually went away. Um, yeah. yeah, and and actually, my energy levels improved as improved. well. Yeah, yeah. We cru you know, we crushed on a lot of things. We crushed on on hummus a lot when we were transitioning. Um, 
But now, now we go more for the potatoes. The potatoes, sweet potatoes, you can't overdo it on potatoes. I could eat potatoes all day long. Potatoes. Day long. He said today they contain so much protein. Yeah. Yeah, that's what's building your muscle. And they're highly antiviral. They got all that L lysine in them. The yeah. most bioavailable lysine on the planet. On the planet. He said it's actually more bioavailable than even the capsules, even the pure encapsulation capsules. Linda. Oh, yeah. um, food stuff is more bioavailable. Yeah, Linda, yeah, hang in there because potatoes. yes, even cooked potatoes. I want to tell people um, I got IC when I was twenty six or twenty seven. It took two years to get it actually in check, um, where I wasn't in horrible, horrible pain, and then it took another five years on top of the two years to get you know to where um, I am now, and actually now it's been six or seven right. years. So and, and you then, keep refining it. You know, we were doing rice for the first, like, year into this. And then, I don't know, we just, I think we were doing, like, those stupid beanito chips. And we were like, oh, it's beans. It's great. We were doing that with the freaking hummus. And, like, you know, right. it was just right. helping us fill the calories. Like but you said, we were calorie We were efficient. still healing. We were, we were still, still healing. healing. But yeah. then I think I read the bag. And I'm like, babe, there's brown rice in this. Like, what the fuck are we doing? What are we doing? Are we retarded? <laughs> we know you have strep. Like, we both have strep. What are we doing? And we just, we knocked them out. And so we started Linda, like, to, so. to go on with that, uh, rice thing's really important, but the pudendum nerve gets triggered. That's a viral piece, honey. That's not just IC, just so you know. Mm -hmm. That's why it's happening even when you don't pee. Right. right. So that's, and that's kind of an explanation of the viruses and the strep being cofactors and they right. work with each other to trick you into feeding one or the other. And, you know, like she said, when her mom passed, I'm sure that lowered your immune system. It probably activated your adrenals. And now you have this corrosive adrenaline feeding, you know, so. It wakes uh, up. It, you know what he said? Corrosive adrenaline goes into the liver and it can draw viruses out. that are hiding in there. Wow. Right. So Crazy. it can make it can them like, wake up. Wow. It can like revive them. Yeah, That's it insane. can revive them. It's just like they're hanging out dormant or not giving you symptoms, but then they start to. Holy shit. Aww, my cousin Emily. They're amazing. They're amazing. <laughs> they're amazing. They're amazing. Like, so inspirational and Aww. so full of fun. And I mean, like, I, it, we're, we're you, you guys, it's almost two hours. I know. We and I rock. feel like I we can keep going. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get up in like six hours. We can go. All night. We've been on for, <laughs> and it, I haven't felt like two hours. And I think we've only gained people. Yeah. Right. Uh, right. We've got like more people on <laughs> both Facebook and Insta. Insta is like almost 80 people here. Wow. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. So we should probably wrap it up though, because we got we still have a I gotta to go. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get up and get kids to school in the morning. Yeah. You know? Right, right, right. <laughs> so we'll do like, this oh, again. We'll do this again. We will do this again, people. This was an honor. Oh my god. Uh, I, no, I, no. I look I can count on like one hand how many people like I have this connection with, right? No. There's people <laughs> in my life. And I'm telling you guys, like the amount that you are so real and so down to earth and so mm -hmm. like salt of the earth, tell it like it is, straight mm -hmm. shooters. It's just <laughs> you're my kind of people. <laughs> you know, gonna make us cry. <laughs> oh, but it's the truth, you know, and that connection and that, you know, it's just I'm just so blessed, so so blessed, so blessed. Now we the blessing and the honor is all ours, and we, we can't thank you enough. You held a key part, a key role in saving our lives, along with Anthony William and all mm -hmm. of the countless hours and the sacrificing of his life that he did to, to heal so, us. And it is our blessing to pass it along all these beautiful people that are just receiving this information because there's so many people in our lives that are reluctant to receive it and it's oh, so frustrating when we meet people like paul that that just absorb it and my buddy joey that i work with that just absorb it and take it in and run with it it's a blessing to share everything you've shared with us and to continue to inspire you it's just unreal i mean this is mm -hmm. beyond this is ephesians you know, 320, exceedingly abundantly above and beyond all that we could have ever asked or thought. Yeah. Um, we oh, love yeah. it. We love you. So everybody, <laughs> go join Muniz's Cleanse. Yeah, we'll Please. be there. We'll be there. Spend the $117. It's going to change your life. 
whatever you have to do, cancel your Netflix for 11 months and <laughs> just go buy the damn cleanse and you will not regret it. We promise you. Um, and thank you. That beautiful story of uh, someone buying the cleanse for the other oh girl. Oh my gosh, yeah. Amy, yeah. Amy bought Amy a cleanse. I mean, I just. Absolutely beautiful. Wow. Thank you for the thank news. Thank you for that. That was absolutely just really heartwarming and touching. Mm -hmm. Everybody stay tuned. I'm going to do some lives and some posts on how to get yo man. Follow Jimmy. Forward. Follow Homegrown Healers. If you're yeah, follow Homegrown us. Healers, go follow them both on Facebook. They just opened their own Facebook page and yeah. follow them on Instagram. They rock. If you want inspiration <laughs> like this, if you want to be, if you want to be entertained, you want some laughs, laughs, you want some giggles, you want some good cries. You got well, you need a kick in the ass. We'll give you a kick in the ass sometimes too. <laughs> A little bit. Whatever you need, we got it. We're like the Swiss Army knife, right? We're the Swiss Army knife for healing. Yeah. You need a saw, we got a saw. You need a scissor, we got a scissor. And if you need celery juice, he's got that too. Yeah, we got celery juice. Everybody's eating celery if you want on the job. Tips and tricks Love and it. to watch how we do it. And Love it. We are so honored. That uh, you uh, hold us in such high esteem. Oh, Seriously, we well, love Mama says we have great songs too. Yeah, and we got yeah. some songs in here too. <laughs> we got more in store. Uh, All right, you guys. guys. Good night, everyone. Good Happy night, healing. Good night. Good night. Happy healing. May God, God bless God. you. May God bless you all and heal you all. And may the angels all be with you. They're all right there, cheering all you on, there. lifting you up. Love yeah. you all. Love you. Good night. Good night. <laughs>